Hello and welcome to this video which briefly outlines the numeracy support available at Kamtawi Community School. Firstly to introduce myself, my name is Daniel Leah, I'm the numeracy coordinator at the school. I work very closely with Mrs Arnold, our numeracy teaching assistant, and Mr Crane who is our head of maths at the school. So firstly, you may or may not know what numeracy is. In simple terms, it's the ability to use maths in the real world. A full definition from the Welsh Assembly says, numeracy refers to the application of mathematical understanding in daily activities at school, at home, at work, and in the community. First of all, a little bit about maths lessons. Our scheme of work in year seven and eight is derived from the Welsh Government's Curriculum for Wales 2022. In each unit we teach, we try to establish where pupils are with their knowledge and how we can progress them further. But like any subject and scheme of work, we have to get through it. And there is a lot to cover, from number to data to algebra to geometry topics, each one covered in the year. I should say at this point, all the information in this video is included in our parent support guide, which can be downloaded from the information underneath the video. However, our focus in numeracy is number work, which starts in our first unit of year seven. Whilst math lessons then ensure full coverage, we will continue to work and work at number skills, which pupils will use throughout their child and adult life. So let's have a look in more detail, starting with year seven. Within the opening weeks of Kamtawi, and as part of topic one in the curriculum, which was on the previous page, Pupils sit a basic numeracy test focusing on essential number skills from Key Stage 2. Using this test, coupled with data from Key Stage 2 and CATS testing, pupils are selected for numeracy support. Furthermore, using the results of these tests, we identified 20 must-have number skills that are common areas for development across the year group. To ensure pupils are comfortable with all 20 techniques, people sit tests throughout year seven and year eight that repeatedly test these 20 skills. All pupils in year seven and eight have done the first couple of these 20 question tests, but they will now continue to be administered fortnightly to all pupils. So why are you watching this video? Well, the initial testing coupled with an ongoing review of the 20 question tests has indicated that your son or daughter would benefit from targeted support above and beyond normal mathematics lessons. The purpose of this? To increase confidence and consequently improve performance. Given the level of support we want to offer, we have split the support into two forms. All pupils identified will receive withdrawal intervention. Withdrawal is one hour a fortnight from one tutor group session out of three in that time. It's important to say it's a rolling programme, so support may be long or short term. And secondly, our boot camp provision. This takes place once a week during form time in the morning. A different group of up to 20 pupils each day join myself, the head of maths, Mr Crane, and numeracy teaching assistant, Mrs Arnold. During the 20 minute session, pupils complete a numeracy drill, again reinforcing key number concepts. During the session, pupils are also supported by year 11 pupils. So the important bit, what your child is doing in these numeracy interventions, specifically numeracy withdrawals. When a maths teacher completes a 20 question test, the teacher will evaluate results and highlight areas of weakness. Pupils are grouped according to weakness so that we can deliver teaching that they need. We hope by identifying weaknesses and ensuring all pupils have the building blocks they need, we will see progress in numeracy test scores as the years go on. And furthermore, we will better prepare them going forward onto maths GCSE. But to give you an idea of what a test looks like. Some example questions are on the slide. However, there is a full version in the support pack available to download underneath this video. There are also follow up questions in that support pack for pupils to try at home. Furthermore, there's a separate video to this where I do a test walkthrough, going through each question of the 20 individually and giving model solutions just to show you the kind of methods we would use to deliver these skills in school. Not only would it be useful for parents, but that video will also be useful for pupils, helping them to prepare to do the 20 question tests in school. Numeracy teachers then record results of tests routinely. For example, these are the results of one of our classes for test one on a question by question basis. 
Red indicates incorrect answers and green correct answers. Our teachers then group pupils based on red areas and teach these areas to hopefully improve performance. Our aim is to work with you so that if I showed you this analysis for test 12 at the end of the year, there will be very little red on the spreadsheet. So this is how you can help to make this happen. You need to know how your child is doing and they are specific areas of weakness. So for example, the pupil on the screen has shown they can double and halve numbers, which is question six, but may benefit from working at comparing decimal numbers, which is question seven. At some point during the Easter term, we will send home a breakdown of your child's performance, much like the one you can see on the screen now. If you use this data hand in hand with the sample test in the downloadable support pack, you can identify and target weakness in the same way we do. Again, I remind you like earlier that there is a separate video to this, also linked in the description below, which is a test walkthrough showing you how we approach teaching these 20 skills in school. And I would encourage you to go and take a look at that video at some point. To supplement this, your downloadable support pack also contains an example drill used during our morning bootcamp sessions. Also, try and incorporate opportunities to practice numeracy skills in everyday life, particularly with regard to time, money and reading timetables, etc. I also would like to mention a couple of websites which are listed within your booklet. The first, Corbett Math Primary. Although called primary, it covers content up to Key Stage 3, so is more useful than its bigger brother, Corbett Math GCSE. Other sites worth mentioning are Sumdog and MathsWatch. All pupils have logins to both these sites, and they're useful for practicing through gameplay. And that is that from me. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Please be sure to download the support pack from the description below, but also take time to watch the linked video where we do a test walkthrough of the 20 questions, which would be useful for both you and your child going through year seven and year eight. Again, thank you very much and hope to see you all soon. Bye bye.